Hey, preschoolers, it's Teacher John here. Happy New Day today. Yeah, let's do our calendar for our morning message and figure out what day it is today. All right. Today, 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 today. Yeah, we're in today. Today is Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Can you say that? Taco t Tuesday. Yeah, that is today. Perfect. Yesterday, friends, yesterday was in the past. We had our morning meeting yesterday where we started our new read aloud story. Yesterday was Monday. Monday was yesterday. I'll put that right behind the number two. It was the second yesterday. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow will come after today. Tomorrow will be wacky Wednesday, preschoolers. Tomorrow. Wonderful. So, who knows what number comes after the number two? Is anybody? Do you know this number? Three. Yeah, great job. We'll put that right up top there. There we go. So, if we're being big preschoolers, we'll say today is Tuesday the third. Third. Yeah, great job. We've had three days in our new month of August. Great job. And let's figure out our weather report for today. We should have some sunshine. It should be sunny today, preschoolers. All right, great job. We'll put that right there as well. And look at that. We've had two days of some sunshine. Yeah. All right, I'm excited. Let's jump into um, our read aloud story. I have three new words for us. And we're gonna finish our story today. All right, here we go. All right, preschoolers, make sure you have your fun read aloud story with us. One, two, threes of art. Okay, great. Let's take a look at some new words we're learning today. First one is C. Is the first sound we hear in the word sea. It's a big body of water with plants and animals in it. Sea. Sometimes you like to swim in the sea. <clears throat> wove. W. W is the first sound we hear in wove. It's when we move strings together in a pattern to make a blanket or a cloth. Wove. We wove some yarn together back and forth to make a blanket. Float is the first sound we hear in the word float. It's when something moves on top of the water or it stays in the air and sky, right? Look at her. She can float on her back. Let's look at the words we're learning. The first one is brush. It's a tool used to paint with, right? You can use a brush to paint. Tall. Tall is when something has long legs or when something reaches up into the sky. Tall. Painted. Painted, it's when you use paint to color something or a picture. Painted, right? Paint, this is a small brush used to paint very small and precise things. All right, let's listen for our words as we finish our story. One, two, three of arts. All right, here we go. We're gonna go find go all the way we stopped off at this one here, preschoolers. 11. 11. Friends, it's a one and a one next to each other is 11. 11 red berries glisten ripe and fresh. 
Adrian Court painted them with stripe flesh. Look at that. Can you see the 11 cherries there? And it says, what kind of berries have you eaten? I've seen lots of you eat some delicious berries. Yeah, some blueberries or strawberries. Yeah, those are great. 12. 12 vibrant squares contain circles and loops. See the loops and the circles in the squares? Yeah, I do. <clears throat> Vasily Kandinsky painted them in multiple groups. Look at those beautiful colors, preschoolers. Yeah. It says, which color combinations do you like the best? Which one do you like the best? I love green and red and yellow. So I like this one. Teacher John likes that one the best. 13. 13 yellow petals. Look at all these yellow petals. Decorate the blue background. Paul Gagan painted them with tropical items he found. Look at that. Beautiful. These kind of look like mangoes, don't they? Mangoes. 14. 14 beautiful shells all come from the sea. One of our new words. Maria Sublaya Marianne painted them lovely as can be. Ooh, look at the beautiful patterns. Remember we talked about patterns? Different patterns in each shell from the sea. 15. 15 animals unite and peacefully play. Edward Hicks painted them in a diverse array. 15 animals and some friends are joining together to play. Ooh, see a great big lion there. And it looks like kind of like a leopard down here. And a bull. 16. Preschoolers, 16. Oh, those big numbers. 16 musicians and performers dance and sing. Chu Ying painted them celebrating the season of spring. Look at all these friends playing some music. And it says, what different activities can you describe in this painting? Let's take a look. One activity I see is dancing. Mm -hmm. This person looks like they're playing kind of a string instrument here. Yeah. And maybe some of these friends are maybe playing a game together. <clears throat> Seventeen. Seventeen playful dogs nibble on a snack. John Charles Dahlman painted them in a lively pack. Look at that. Wonderful friends are having a snack together. Seventeen. Wow. Can you imagine having 17 pets at home? Ooh, be a lot. 18, 18. 18 rectangles, preschoolers, form an iconic design. Very, very famous painting. Pete Mondrian painted each with a bold outline. What colors do you see, preschoolers? What do you see? It's a gray rectangle, a blue, yellow, a red, yeah. 19, wow. 19 Egyptian figures stand side by side. They were painted to protect great treasures inside. Oh my goodness, these are from a long time ago, preschoolers. 19 of them. after 19. 20. 20. 20 lucky cranes soar through the night. Em Emperor Huzin painted them gracefully in flight. Where do you think these birds are flying to? Says our friend Artie. Where do you think they're flying to? Hmm. 
I wonder. Maybe they might go try to find some water to go find something to eat. Some fish? Yeah. Great job, preschoolers. This is a great one to read. You get to learn your numbers. Also get to learn some wonderful art and meet some fun artists and their work. It's a great one, wonderful. Thanks for following along, friends. Let's take a look at our words one more time. Here we go. How fast can we go? How fast can we go? Let's say some words that we know. All right, here we go. First one is brush. Tall. Float. Wove. Painted. See. All right, great job today, preschoolers. Keep on reading, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye everybody.